the angels of the Taurus um, full moon reading. And we're starting with a lot of the earth energy. We got the ace of pentacles here, the three of pentacles, four of wands, and man holding a heart. Even this I'm seeing, not necessarily as earth energy, but Venus rules the sign of Taurus. You know, so Venus is the planet of love, the planet and the goddess uh, of love and abundance and money. Um, and so I'm just getting a lot of that from this gentleman. He is sitting outside in the earth. So I'm getting a feeling like he's grounded. He's planted in the earth. He's surrounded by these trees, the red. Um, so um, he's holding a heart. Very romantic, very empathetic, very um, passionate about something. And it could be business. It could be romance. It doesn't have to be uh, necessarily love just because he's holding a heart. Because the Three of Pentacles is, represents a worker energy, right? So um, it's about direct a direct correlation between the work that you do and your payment, your compensation. So if it is about a relationship, putting in the effort and then really reaping the benefits of a loving um, very healthy and positive relationship. Somebody, um, perhaps a man, perhaps the, a masculine energy, um, would like to build something, work toward building something with you, a home, a household, a family, um, or again, or perhaps a business. And you will have like the resources with which to do that uh, and to start something new as opposed to maybe trying to revisit something old is what the Ace of Pentacles says. So when I picked up this Ace of Pentacles, speaking of earth energy behind it, we have the Hermit. Uh, he was in reverse, or she was in reverse. In this case, in this deck, uh, it's a female that's the Hermit. Um, whether upright or in reverse, if it does have to do with love and relationship, it doesn't matter. Either way, it tends to be about an ex that's returning. So again, even if an ex is returning, it's about putting work into um, something new, right? That's going to produce something for you and you're going to um, directly reap the rewards of this work and effort that you put in. If it has to do with money, again, this is a worker energy, so it could be about um, new jobs, again, work, promotions, um, you know, trying to get a bonus or something, maybe working extra hard at something, uh, perhaps having gone within to figure out exactly what you need to do in order to generate more resources, maybe going online to look for new jobs or look for other income streams. Um, maybe you have some sort of online business and that's why she's, you know, they're opening up her laptop to peak. Um, but then when it has to do with romance, again, the, the hermit is, or for me, tends to be somebody who may be keeping to themselves, but also looking in on you. Um, you know, unbeknownst to you, you have no idea, maybe because in this deck, then it's the laptop that they're using as opposed to the lantern that the um, hermit normally has. Maybe they're watching you on like your social media or something. Um, maybe saying, how my page is private. They could really be like a fake person. Um, my page is public, but, you know, I tend to only have people that are on it that comment um, the reason it's public, I just figure like, what the hell, like, you know, uh, people want to watch me and it's not, it's not necessarily my exes, just in general. And then in where I'm from, I am somewhat of a public figure, right? Um, so I just leave my page public. It's not so hard to find me, um, if you want to find me, but again, it tends to be my friends, um, my friends who are commenting. So if somebody wants to comment, they would probably have to create a fake page um, and pretend to be one of my friends in order to comment. And that could be happening to, you know, any one of us or any one of you as well. Um, again, this could be you doing research into what kind of work um, or effort something is going to require in order to make it happen. But you know, it's like the universe is here to support you. If you start, if you put in the work, it's going to meet you halfway with the resources that you need to make whatever it is um, that you're trying to make happen, happen. This could also be somebody like firing their boss, you know, they have an emperor in reverse here behind um, what was the ace of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So somebody could be deciding they're going to start their own business. They're not going to work for somebody else anymore. So this like emperor, this boss type of figure is toppled and right? he's in reverse. Um, we also have judgment. 
immediately behind that. Judgment for me is about abundance that's earned. So again, you deserve it. You've done some sort of work, labor, um, put out some good karma or dharma, as you know, some would call it. You've put that into the universe, and the universe is rewarding you. Um, in relationships, love and relationship, or actually not only love and relationship, um, in in a general sense, but it can be, a, can be applied to love and relationship. It can be applied to jobs too. Um, judgment can be about second chances. So something coming back around, um, as can be the world, right? Coming back around the cycle. Um, and it's going to be like in a different way. So like when if something comes back around and comes full circle, usually cycle has completed um, and we're starting something new, right? Again, new. So something's closing out, um, which makes sense. This is a um, full moon. And so full moons are about endings or tend to be about endings. I don't know if I'm putting this back right or not. Um, this is also a lunar eclipse, uh, partial lunar eclipse. Those two are about endings and clipping things or cutting things out. Um, some cases that could be literal Taurus, in terms of the body, rules things like the thyroid, um, the vocal cords, um, like the neck. And so I just, when I said cutting something out, even though I don't see any swords here, I just pictured like maybe some sort of surgery. Somebody could be having like thyroid surgery or um, tonsil surgery or something like that. Uh... Or, or, or treatment. Maybe there's like a hormone imbalance. Venus also rules Libra. It's about balance. Maybe there's like a hormone imbalance in the, the thyroid, and all. That. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I just saw something very quickly. Um, I guess for someone. Maybe more positively, because it does rule things like the throat, and neck, and, and vocal cords. Um, something could be ending. That was maybe blocking your ability, you know, to, to sing or to communicate. Um, maybe they're tied together. Maybe this a surgery that someone has enables them to be able to communicate again or to sing. Maybe there's like polyps or something on the vocal cords uh, on the throat, and that gets removed, and then you can sing. Or there's, you know, tonsillitis. You have your tonsils removed. You got to have your adenoids removed or something like that, and then you can sing or talk or or, or something. Again, all right, um, let's see what was under this form. Oh, okay. It's the two of cups. It is in reverse, but that's what's under the four of wands. So um, I actually got when I was shuffling the secret messages from the heart that if this is about a romance, um, this person that's holding a heart that wants to build with you, wants to work with you toward, you know, creating a home, a commitment um, or something, they may be at a, a distance from you. The, the love message was that that distance, you know, that maybe between you is not going to keep you apart. Like they, it is something they want to work toward. But that may be why the two of, of cups is uh, in reverse here. Um, perhaps because of some sort of separation, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, combinations of those, all the above. All right, let's get to shuffling. But I do like that we started with so much um, earth energy or what was at least coming across to me as... Earth energy. This guy's like a combo king of pentacles and king of cups is what he's feeling like. Um, so th since this is about endings and we're starting out with energies like the um, Ace of Pentacles, it could be like an ending of a cycle of like brokenness, you know, lack of material or financial abundance. You did also see the world took an end of a cycle. Maybe there was a rough patch for you financially, but with this to death to that, right, into that, um, and you're transforming into this more abundant person, right, having stuck it out and continued to fight, right? Now it's going from... A nine of wands transforming from a nine of wands 
this person who feels like they're just overwhelmed and they don't really have much left in them. And the universe shows up to say, yeah, no, you do. I'm going to I'm gonna help you. I'm going to give you a little boost, a little caffeine injection um, to make you get across the finish line. And then, boom, you upgraded to the king of wands because you, you stick it out um, and you're successful. King of wands may also be um, an actual... Fire sign, or actual person, and maybe more specifically a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Um, the King of Wands is actually most directly a Sagittarius, um, which is not far from us. Sagittarius season. Will we go into it? No. Over the next two weeks, I think we'll still be in Scorpio season um, with this moon, but then right, right after that. Um, sad season will start. Anyway, um, there may be an opportunity coming for this King of Wands, and if he takes it again, this can be something very lucrative. He may have to it may involve communication or speaking up for himself, or maybe you know, like um, selling himself if it has to do with a job or something, or um, maybe filling out some sort of papers, uh, something having to do with court, a decision that you're waiting for. Maybe somebody has to make a decision on your, you know, like workman's comp or social security or unemployment or, again, whether or not you got the job or something like that. Um, this can also be actual people. This page of swords sometimes is about somebody looking in on you, too. It can come across... Um, a lot of times it's like a spying kind of card. Not, not spying in necessarily in a negative way, but again, somebody looking in on you, similar to what that hermit was doing. Uh, and maybe checking in to see, like, did they answer yet? Did they answer yet? Maybe somebody has, like, a court case and they're trying to see, like, the judge, did the judge make the decision yet? And then you keep reaching out to get that information. Nine of Swords may be an actual person, too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, or someone likened to those traits or attributes, as may be this page of swords. Um... And it's going to involve some that it be something that involves a younger person, perhaps even a child as well. So maybe child support um, or something like that too is involved here. Three of Swords. It could be about the separation. Um, this is turning up. It may involve an actual Queen of Swords, which is another Venus energy. She does also rule the signs of Libra and Gemini. Um, so this could be coming through because of her, tied to this Taurus full moon. For us um, actual, uh, actual Geminis, my fellow Gemini sons, uh, this Taurus is actually our 12th house of endings. That's another additional, like our endings that come with this full moon and lunar eclipse. Um, I think have like a little bit more finality to them. You know, like if you're wondering if something's just ending temporarily, is it going to come back? Uh, it's probably done. If, it gets, if something gets cut off during this full moon um, for you or something comes to an end, it's probably for good. But look, the hermit's back. Yeah, so this is somebody who wants balance, as I mentioned before, and happiness, maybe commitment, love, um, perhaps with this Queen of Swords. And is, but she, he, he has her sort of turned upside down right now because there was some sort of heartbreak between them, um, loss, or separation, or something. And I think he's looking in on her because he's trying to figure out how can I make a comeback? And restore this, you know, balance to the situation. Um, maybe there was a feeling of the Queen of Swords putting more effort, uh, in, you know, into the relationship. Sometimes we can do this like to a fault. We can be so pushy um, in, like, if, if we're into. So people get like, um, and you know, they they say things like the air signs, especially like Gemini and Aquarius, don't like show emotion or whatever. You, you, 
may not you may think like you know we don't love you or whatever because we're often not like the first to say it or whatever and, and it's not because we're of ego it really is at least in the case of gemini i have a lot of aquarius too but at least in the case of gemini we tend to want to really make sure like love is a is a is a deep thing. Um, people people toss it around. I love you, I love you, I love you. And they don't really love people. You know, maybe they like them, maybe they're lusting after them or whatever. So Geminis, we try, and we, we're not, you know, perfection. We're not perfect. Um, so we're not going to get it right all the time. But we try to make sure we actually do love you before we use words like that, for example. Um, but that doesn't mean that our behaviors won't show it. And sometimes we can get, if we do love you, we can get so caught up in that um, and just like wanting to, wanting to love you, wanting to like love up on you and just, we, we, we like can push too hard and push people away. So that may be what went on here too. Um, maybe this, maybe this air sign person or whoever is represented by this, I guess that doesn't have to be an actual air sign person. Um, was again giving, 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 and this person wasn't necessarily reciprocating, um, you know, in an equal and, and, and equitable way. And now they're like trying to figure out how they can uh, manage to do that so they can be a new opportunity. Again, a second chance, a second time around, right, for, you know, this love that the other person has been so patient for, you know, and really giving them a chance. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like they, they don't want this to be over. Uh, they, there is a desire um, to start something again. With the Lovers, it's often an indication that it's a, a genuine, um, like, divine counterpart, a soulmate, or maybe past life connection, co combination of those, all of the above. Judgment can be about past lives for me because it's about something that we thought was dead coming back, right? Again, second chances, second time around. This is the people being, you know, risen from people that were dead being um, risen and either, you know, sent to heaven or to hell or purgatory, you know, in the Bible, right? This is Archangel um, Gabriel. So, um, new opportunity for somebody. If, if he can figure out, he or she, whoever this hermit is, maybe an actual Virgo, can figure out how to, um, you know, try to make their way back in to this um, Queen of Swords person, again, whether it's an earth sign or not, I mean, an air sign or not, um, make their way back into her life, because they, they really would like, you know, something like this. I think I put those back in the right order. The three of swords belongs on the top, doesn't it? I'll fix that in a second. Now the six of pentacles here. Oh, followed by the six of cups. And here's that nine of wands again. So again, if somebody wants to maybe revisit something from the past, seeing this, you know, counterpart of theirs as the real, as a real empress. And here they are showing up as a page, but it looks that there's some sort of offer that they want to make. So they still might not be ready. And that's why they're trying to figure out and saying, I don't have what it takes. I don't have enough um, to go in. But again, when we try, when we, when we put this effort, we meet the universe halfway, we ask it to meet us halfway. Um, it, it, it usually does. And maybe we can, you know, fix this situation from the past. Or at least something that we've been avoiding, like conversation we've been avoiding, things we've been trying to sweep under the rug, um, with it in reverse, we can finally give it the in, um, attention uh, that's required to resolve it one way or another, right? Something has to come to an end, transform, transition into new energy. All right, um... Right, let's do this one. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. There's a storm warning. So something's brewing. Perhaps in the life of the man with holding a heart. It does involve love and romance. Angel of love showing up. 
We've got victory in reverse. We've got deceit. And somebody's taking an L, it seems. A loss in love. Maybe because they're lied to. They were lied to. That may be why the Queen of Swords is in reverse. That may be something from the past that happened. And again, that's why the person is trying to figure out how they can come back now. Like after that, how can I come back? And so right now, there's inaction. There's inaction. But look what's again desired for the community, happy family. They don't want to be all tied up. They want to be free. They want to pursue. They want to reunite. Woman holding a heart is also there in reverse. Atop the thinking woman, which could, is, could be an air sign, you know, just overthinking everything. Being all right. Um, what we're we gonna do here? I think I want to ask what's ending, what's being cut out. Um, oh, right away, nine of swords uh, in reverse. So, like this sort of feeling of distrust of maybe other people around us. This is like a main theme. Um, and it did fall out and leave me holding, again, that two of cups in reverse. So for some people, this is involving not necessarily a romantic relationship, but a close per personal, like one-on-one -on -one relationship, like those sort of seventh house relationships, BFF, um, or romantic interests, or mate, lover, um, you know, very close family member, parent, child. That's, oh, and look, the lovers is behind it too, also in reverse. And the four of wands. And here we have earth energy again with somebody wanting to make some sort of offer. Could be an apology, could be wanting to give you a gift or something. Sort of make amends somehow, at least like shake hands. So, and into this sort of um, feeling of distrust, like you can trust this person. You can, you know, go ahead and take another chance. Uh, feelings of anxiety and worry and paranoia, like something's going to ease that. Let's see what this deck says. What's the main focus of, of the thing that is um, being clipped out? Eclipsed out. Left in the past. We've got so many here. But ten of um, pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We did have Wheel of Fortune that fell out. So something that, you know, had a way for divine timing. We couldn't rush it before. Is coming around. Something, you know, for which we're destined that is faded and that may involve an apology, a gift, some sort of offering from, you know, and maybe like a material offering. And that's why I'm getting gift or whatever. But the page of uh, Pentacles is often about an apology, too. And this could be an actual Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn who is making the apology. They were holding on tightly, probably, I think, to themselves before. And, like, keeping to themselves and keeping their feelings to themselves, keeping the apology to themselves. Maybe they were stuck in ego. Um... Something's happened to change that, and they're realizing that they want, you know, something abundant and long-term. And so whatever they were holding back, whether this is romantic or it's in some other area of their life, you know, it was causing them, that that, that sort of fear and ego and funky-ass attitude was blocking them from abundance. So you see here we have the nine and the ten of pentacles, um, but it's sitting here on top that, that three of swords again. So it was the, the attitude... Maybe not treating people as they people were treating them, imbalance, inequity, um, not treating others as equals, and just being a douche that was preventing somebody from their abundance. What is this deck say? Eh? What is the main theme of what is being eclipsed out? I would prefer only one card, spirit, if you don't mind. This one. flipped over. Something flipped over. Yep. Indecision. Oh, look. Another three swords. Right side up. Indecision is the main theme here. 
It's, it may have to do, again, with the same romantic situation that some of this had, had to do. Maybe involving a party of three also. That could be what the hurt was about. We got two threes back to back here. And we got the, we got like confusion and, um, again, indecision. So maybe like one person was chosen over another person. And what's being, somebody felt betrayed, somebody felt hurt. And what's being eclipsed out is this person has now spent a lot of time in isolation and doing thinking. And maybe they got, they didn't have a choice. Like they were stuck. Nothing was moving forward. Nothing was moving backward. They were just stuck. And it's like, well, while I'm here, I might as well figure things out. And it became very, a very spiritual thing. And they, they did a lot of thinking. Fool also a very spiritual card. And so now this is the end of the indecision. You see that this two of swords is also a card of indecision, but it's in reverse. It's like I've, I've gotten some things figured out and I'm not going to miss an opportunity again. I'm no longer feeling stuck um, and imprisoned. You know, and for some, this could be something about actual, literal, they were in jail. Somebody might be, that may be the main theme for somebody uh, during this period. They may be freed from jail. I'm thinking about the judgment and what I was talking about before, waiting for the judge's decision. Um, it's no longer hanging in the balance. It's no, it's no longer indecision. Judge is coming down on this. And with the eight of swords in reverse, it's like somebody released from jail. I'll show who that's for. Uh, but we got that. And let's see what this deck says. The main theme of what's being cut out for this or with this. Goddess of the Moon. So confusion is being cut out. Confusion, illusion is what's being cut out. There's going to be some clarity that comes to us. Um, and it may be something. Look, the sun is right here. Right, something's going to get illuminated. There's going to be some clarity that comes to us about something. And it may be something that requires you to be strong. Like it, when you see it, it may be like, damn, like maybe tough to see or tough to hear. However you receive the clarity, um, it's going to maybe requiring you to be to be strong um, in, in taking it in. But it's information that you need to know. Um, because right now you're confused with this goddess of the moon. But I do like how the moon always shows up one way or another in my moon readings. And from this one, what is the main theme? Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's two again. Trust me, I will reach out to you soon. So like I said, an end of distrust. You can trust the person now. They're, they're saying that. Trust me. Um... You know, I'm going to contact you. So then maybe somebody's in separation. They're asking you to be patient yet again. Um, I'm very attracted to you. And I can feel the chemistry building between us. So I also started this reading. It, it, I've been, it's been very open-ended and whatnot so far. And we'll see how we continue. I, sometimes I sit down here and I don't know what I'm, what they want me to do. What I'm meant to do until I start doing it. Um, but I did talk about... Somebody wanting to build something um, with you. And so we do have confirmation of that as well showing up here. And so let's check communities, surrounding energies. Oh, well, Hierophant already fell away. Maybe that's the card from this deck that we're going to look at. Um, somebody that w that's close to us could be, again, entering some sort of contract, have something going on um, that, that is legal, wanting to enter commitment, um, up to and including marriage, this could even be. Somebody could be going back to school. Again, trying to figure out what effort, what work they have to put into something in order to, um, you know, generate more abundance, generate more income. That so somebody could be even going back to school with that and our surrounding energy. What about this deck? Damn, three of swords again. Can you believe it? Um, but we do have, again, new energy. Ace of Cups showing up. And this Nine of... Nine of Pentacles. So in terms of an ending in our surrounding energy, with these cards... Seriously? It's this guy again. And his balance. So 
So someone in our surrounding energy. Um, oh, this could be involving us. This could be this could be the person that's in our surrounding energy, wanting to again come and resolve some sort of situation um, with us here, and just make things more equal between us and them. Whether it's again a when I say the community or surrounding energy, it's close friends, family members, mates, love interests, you know, co-workers. It's people like in your like day-to-day -day life um, by whom you're impacted. In this deck, it's the Knight of Cups. So somebody may have been overwhelmed by a relationship before. Again, maybe it was with the Queen of Swords, um, and she pushed too hard. That can be what the Nine of, Knight of Cups is about. Um, but I think they're still, even if that's the case, you know, they're they they're feeling the loss and wanting to again make some sort of comeback. And I know, that, like readers, we we see all this stuff about returns all the time um, in these collective readings. It's never for everybody, but at least in my um, experience, it's always for at least somebody. I always have somebody saying, oh, yeah, that what you talked about happened to me. Or I'll see stuff in the news um, and try to point it out to the rest of you guys. So, yeah, somebody, somebody um, in our surrounding energy that had been feeling tied up, this felt kind of... So, I don't know if it was meant to be in reverse or upright. Um... But I'm just going to take it as it is. This is the all tied up card. And somebody who had been feeling sort of restrained, tied up. Like that's what's coming to an end. That's what's being clipped out in our surrounding energy. Um, they're, they're just... They're going to be freed. And again, for somebody, this could be actually... You have a, a, a friend, a family member, a loved one or something that is like imprisoned somehow. Um, or re like restricted by... Like under their... Like... Um, you know, it's not like their will, you know, um, but they're going to be f freed is what I'm getting. I understand you perfectly. Let's not fight anymore. This is probably what the Three of Swords and our surrounding energy is about. So this is, the, again, somebody very close to us um, coming forward with this message. Let's not fight anymore. Can we call a truce? Does not have to be romantic. Work, finances. Page of Cups in reverse with the King of Pentacles. Also in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Work finances. Page of Cups. Um, so the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who really measures himself by what people think of him, other people think of him. What they think, you know, how impressed they are with the stuff he has. Like, stuff. Not necessarily on his actual worth as a human being, a person. But on stuff. So, like, he wants to keep working. He wants to keep buying. He wants to keep earning. Keep having successes. So that other people can be impressed. And the Page of Cups, at least with regard to work, in reverse, is somebody who is concerned that their work is going unrecognized. So putting these two together, you know, I'd say that there is somebody, um, well, this could be happening to you um, in your work. Like you just feel like you're not necessarily being um, recognized, compensated, rewarded, awarded, um, you know, getting any accolades, pats in the back or whatever, for your work. Um, and that is not true. Like, you're not going unnoticed. Uh, you are being noticed. So you want to keep up the good work. You don't want to... This is not the time to slack off um, at your job. We do have underneath the um, King of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, which can be about you thinking of, you know, um, 
they're dreaming of new again income streams and places to work and I'm not speaking against that um, you can still you know look into that maybe make send out applications and stuff while you keep your current gig um, but I don't want you to misunderstand what's happening at the current gig that moon may be for you remember the moon card and the confusion because this is the person that's confused right you're thinking that your your work isn't appreciated and stuff um, and it very much is with the page of cups now, the Page of Cups may be tied directly to that moon energy, right? The moon in the tarot uh, represents the sign of Pisces, and the actual moon, or Earth's moon, rules the sign of Cancer. And, of course, this Page of Cups can easily be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. So, just, again, keep up the good work that you're doing, um, and don't worry about you know, not being appreciated because you are. And I think that's something that's going to be revealed to you soon. So you definitely don't want to slack off. You definitely don't want to, you know, um, become somebody that's like bitching about it or whatever at the office uh, because you, you're gonna, people are going to look at you like you're crazy because that's, then you're wrong. And you may create a situation that ends up being negative, whereas you do some um, positive reinforcement where things stand right now. Oh, this is too many, but it looks like what I was talking about a minute ago with the moon, <laughs> with somebody feeling lack, but that finally turning around because, you know, something changes. We got um, the strength card showing up again. So this is like tied to the sun as well. The strength card represents the sign of Leo. Earth's star, the sun, rules the sign of Leo. So again, this is about something being illuminated and, you know, clearing up confusion. And then again, we have ships coming in. But this is about manifestation. This is about success. But just like with the other deck, here's the Seven of Cups. Like we're maybe dreaming or thinking about something else. Um, maybe other ways of, other means of making money. Maybe even a new job. And I'm not going to discourage that. That's something that you should, you can and should look into if that's what you're feeling to do. Look, there's that Three of Swords again. I didn't even realize it was there at the bottom. Work and finance. What's being clipped out? Okay. So. You may have been having, like, feeling, again, not very successful in the job or not very abundant. Not making enough money. Here's another seven of cups. Again, dreaming about something else with the boss upside down. So maybe about firing your boss and starting your own company or something. Um, another three of swords again. King of swords, hierophants. Communication, information coming in, maybe a new contract. If you work by contract or a new offer um, at the job to rectify that. But and it may come, the king of wands in reverse is somebody who's been through a lot in his life. And so he's got a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom to share with other people um, as a consequence of that. And so he could be somebody who, um, if he's not representing you, which I don't feel he necessarily is, um, who is somehow particularly helpful to you in moving beyond whatever stressful situation you've been having or maybe helping you get your business started because um, he's somebody who's already successful. He is very possibly an actual fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. You may need to get some financial advice, um, which I guess goes along with somebody helping you to start your own company or you know, to look for a better job if that's what's happening. Contrarily, this king of wands, it's like it can go either way. If he's not somebody who's helping you because of his of his experience, um, he could be somebody who is. He still might be hurt, helping you, but sometimes the king of wands in, in reverse can be somebody who, um, who's sort of like um, condescending, um, maybe like talking down to you, whatever. If it becomes like too difficult to bear or like sexist or like some sort of like harassment, um, obviously don't take that. You know, um, you take uh, 
take um, whatever measures you would need to take. But I'm more so seeing the first meaning, I think, here and feeling the first meaning. I mean, I was meant to mention the, I was said, you know, like guided to mention the other one. So that may happen with somebody. You may have somebody who's, who gets ahead of themselves with you um, in your workplace. And I, you know, I want you to go to like HR or something, unless they are HR. And they, they could be this, they could be the emperor in reverse, right? They could be the boss. Um... I'm just getting like you have to be as professional and and keep your yourself um, as in check and again stay on top of make sure you're doing your best work as possible but also don't let anybody um, you know like harass you um, bring you harm you know which of course things like sexual harassment in the workplace or other types of harassment and discrimination is harmful I, I don't know who that's for Temple path. So this will also be a very spiritual time for somebody, and maybe um, like joining with a new community of people, surrounding yourself with other people who are into the same types of beliefs um, as yourself. You know, that just um, maybe finding members of your soul family or your tribe, as they say. We have here happy family, or it could be you know literal family. In terms of like a divine counterpart or something, maybe, you know, uniting with them or reuniting with them and, you know, starting on this path. It's very happy, uh, very positive. Um, between these two cards, like the weird glow, the, this one that very clearly has a rainbow on it. And this one I'm getting like an iridescent, I don't know if you guys can see it, like glow from it. I'm just feeling like this, this, there's something going on with a situation here with LGBTQIA. I don't know if it's about telling your family. And maybe you tell your family and they don't accept it and that's why you have to find like a new family of people. You know, people that you um, you create a new family of people that you meet, and you you decide that they're like your brother, your sister, your new mom, or even dad. Of course, that's not for everybody either. Somebody asked me to watch this um, tarot reader on TikTok, and I did. She's not really a tarot reader. Actually, she uses oracle cards, and she, when she does use tarot cards, she just says stuff that really has nothing to do with the card. Um, it's entertaining, I guess. But I watched it a couple times now, and it just seems like she's always trying to, um, like, make everybody's man gay, and it's just weird. Um, or make everybody gay, I guess. I don't know. I just found it odd. Like, every man that she... she oh, he, he, your, your man has a lover all the time. I mean, I, I haven't watched that. I shouldn't say all the time because I haven't watched it that many times. But the times that I've seen it, she's done that. I'm like, okay. Is that always the case? Everybody's man has a lover? I mean, maybe 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 that's what's going on these days. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, we need to do something fun together and break the ice. Um, so this is about maybe not working so much and all the time and just, you know taking some time to be playful, which the Page of Cups you saw in one of these decks uh, in reverse can also be about needing to loosen up. So, I mean, Earth signs, you know, Taurus is certainly um, very true to this. So this is very true to Taurus. Just very hard workers. And sometimes it's all about work, 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 work. And, you know, there is not much time for celebration and, and socialization and spending time with family and maybe even nurturing, nurturing like your spiritual self um, or, you know, spending time with, with, you know, family, loved ones and things like that. So I'm just getting from this card. Um, yeah, that, I mean, it's pretty literal, I think, that you need to take a break or you need to take a break 
somebody needs to take a break and not work as hard. So whereas a bunch of us maybe need to put, you know, just keep putting effort or put more effort into something that we want to focus on, um, there's also those or at least someone who, um, you know, contra contrarily to that, needs to put some effort into um, themselves, right? And their social life or their spiritual life, their spiritual health, emotional health, and relationships with other people. Now let's, I'm going to just go, go backwards, backwards order now. Now let's do specifically love uh, and relationship. Whoop. I wear a false mask and pretend not to care because I don't want you to see how vulnerable I really am. That's the love message. What's the love message in this deck? Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles in the bottom. Somebody sees you as just real like they, they know that you're able to take care of yourself. That you don't need them in that sense. Like, you don't need me to provide and, and things like that. Um, but I, I still want to come in in some way and sweep you off your feet. Maybe maybe it'll require communication. Maybe, I, you know, with the gift of gab, I can impress you since you don't need my money. Or, you know, you can, you're independent. And then when I make it happen, I want it to be, this is going to be long term. Like, this has the makings to really turn out to be something with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, maybe like even like a life partner uh, type of relationship, giving you leaving you um, enough room to also have your freedom and maybe nurture your own life and your own spiritual health and your own friendships and relationships, but also giving you that sort of feeling of security um, and that, that that you're loved and that you know it's it's a mutual thing. This is reciprocal. Second time around, second chances, reuniting is another message that we're getting here. We've got the Three of Cups. This is a card of reunion, a card of celebration. Um, could be going to a social event and meeting somebody there, maybe bumping into somebody that you know from your past there, and that's how you reunite. Or again, you're just getting a second chance. Have you been waiting very patiently for the second chance to come back around after it's a, a period of hurt? Um, and here it is. And look, the same I, you saw me shuffle these so many times. But here's this hermit again, and here is the Wheel of Fortune. So the reason it didn't, you may have been patient and waiting a long time, but the reason it didn't come around before is it wasn't time yet. This is about divine timing. And now they're finally ready to, you know, loosen up on their, um, like they've been holding back their emotions and to open up to you. This is a card of reconciliation also. In addition, it's also a card of new relationships. Um, so that could be what this means too, abundance that's earned. You, you deserve um, new love. You deserve genuine love. But again, with the hermit, um, if this is representing the other person and not yourself, then it tends to be an ex that, that's wanting to, you know, get something going again uh, from the past. Something you may have thought was dead. It's not dead. Uh, if this is representative of you, maybe you've spent a lot of time to yourself and thinking about exactly what you want. Um, and exactly, and, and whether or not you were ready before in the past, you like you thought you were not you know, maybe you didn't really know yourself. You had to spend some time with yourself. And now you've decided it's time and the universe has decided it's time. You know, so we can move beyond that past hurt. Um, and yes, it's time to like reap the benefits of, of what we, you know, the, the, the healing um, and things that we put in. And then here it goes. That's why it's a celebratory moment. Or again, you might meet somebody if you get an opportunity to go somewhere. Um, maybe with the Hierophant that showed up before, maybe you're going to somebody else's wedding. Are you going to somebody else's, you know, birthday party or holiday party or something? That's going to get started soon, too. And that's where you're meeting somebody, maybe. Love and relationship from this step. Six of Cups. 
with the nine of wands in the bottom she may say i don't have any more energy to give to this person to give to this connection to give to this union i would like to get it going again i'd like to finish what we started in the past you know i i'd like to it is a, a dream of mine but this person makes me so freaking anxious and like sick to my stomach because i just i don't know i can't sleep i can't eat um, and probably because it's a twin flame or soulmate relationship, um, you know, and you may have been apart from them, it may have been on a break from you, but it's, it's time, yeah, they probably walked away from you or walked away from them, but now they want to come back and they want to show you, um, you know, something real here. We got, we got victory coming, uh, for this relationship and it's like a dream come true for you too. So you're going to have to, if, if you, you know, want to accept it. Like, if you're manifesting in an energy of fear, holding on to an energy of fear, then, you know, you'll throw yourself right back into a cycle. So, um, again, if this is what you've really been wanting, you're going to want to try to release those those fears. Um, the good part is, or a positive thing is, you know, this major arcana card, especially even by the number and the fact that it's major arcana as opposed to minor, does trump this nine of swords. So, this star energy is much stronger. It may also represent an actual Aquarius um, that is involved in your life or your situation. Page of Wands, of course, also a possibly an actual person, maybe younger than you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone likened to those traits or attributes. But this is this this wand energy too is about again, you've tried, you tried, you tried, and you just feel like I can't do it anymore. And the universe says, Yes, you can, because now it's finally gonna work this time, and it is a soulmate connection. So you don't want to just give up on it. What the energy deck has to say about love. Oh, goodness. Sometimes it's like my fingers are not working. We got envy and we got the caring connections. Okay? So the caring connections, this is about your relationship. There's the anxiety again. Just worried about this. This is nine, more nine of swords. Just worried about... You know, how is this going to come together? Well, it's not going to come together if you keep listening to people who are jealous of you, who are envious of you. And these may be people, maybe people that you consider friends, family. There has been people um, in the ear of, you know, sometimes both, masculine and feminine, saying, you know, it may not even be direct all the time, like stay away from this person or that person, um, but just, you know, just putting you off your path. Because they're jealous of you. And you may not understand, like, how could somebody that cares about me, that's my friend or whatever, be jealous? Of, and you'd be surprised um, how often it happens. Um, sometimes it has to do with, in the couple, there is somebody who, um, you know, maybe has issues with jealousy. And they're worried about, am, am I going to be able to, you know, act normal and not be, you know, super jealous and a fiend? But je this envy is... Um, you know, it's one of these negative emotions. So this is something you have to, you know, work to heal and work to go through. And if you don't feel like you can do it by yourself, if you, you know, tr trust the person that you're interested in or that, you, that you're connected to, that you're in a relationship, trust them enough, um, you know, to help you to go through it. Maybe you guys just need to go to, you know, therapy or something and work through this. Um, couples therapy. I, I feel like, I think I've said this before on this channel. Uh, I know I've said it on like my Facebook page. So I'm, I feel like... I'm willing to go to therapy as soon as I get in a relationship. Like, I just don't want to get, you know, veered off course. And if we've got problems with communication or there's a potential for us to have problems with communication, if we can avoid it, I want to avoid it. Let's just go straight to therapy and, you know, f learn some, um, you know, mechanisms <laughs> to keep things healthy and positive and moving forward. Because I don't, I, I feel like that nine of wands. Like, I don't want to keep... Um, going back or starting over and getting back into these situations where you just feel like, you know, you're at ground zero again and you're putting in from, I'm tired and I'm getting too old for this, you know? Um, and so that's what I'm getting from the envy cards. I don't want to, actually, I don't want to leave the envy card on top because we ended on the positive note with that one with caring connection. All of these cards are very positive in terms of love and relationship, which is the last placement that I did. So let's have it like that. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, and Caring Connections. I'm getting a connection between the false mask also and the envy. Um, that maybe envy isn't really the the feeling. Um, but it's just the card that they're, they're showing me 
to to sort of demonstrate what the person is sort of going through. It's not envy's not. I feel like envy's not the right word in that case, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just feeling some sort of connection between this envy and anxiety and the false mask. I want to um, end this. I think with these. maybe a bit of a more traditional spread. Back to happy family in the bottom. Somebody's going to divorce too during this period. We got attachment and we got a false mask. It's, it's coming off. An attachment, and we got a contract in reverse behind family. I think it's for the best. It's a, it's positive that they, if it's not an actual divorce, like somebody who's separating themselves again, maybe like you tell your family something about yourself, whether it has to do with LGBTQIA issues or not, um, and they can't deal with it until you break away, or people that you consider family that are close to you. Um, all right. So I'm going to do recent past too. Yeah, recent past, all tied up. Somebody, again, feeling restricted, stuck, near future. Appreciation. So this is when you're freed. And we go up in a number too. 23 equals 5 here. 1 and 5 equals 6. So we've sort of um, made some progress here from being all tied up to appreciating life because we're free and, and able to do what we want in this one. Higher self. Message from the higher self. What is this? Door to personal healing and happiness. So there's a need to walk through this door, right? That's the higher self is telling us. So whether that means divorcing, all right, leaving somebody alone, eclipsing somebody, clipping somebody out of your life or something out of your life is the, your path to happiness. Well, the lower self one. Your lower self, you got to take action. Is Some of these things, again, we have to take a step forward and the universe meets us halfway. Um... Part of the matter, walking away. So somebody again is walking away from some sort of situation. For some, it'll be literal divorce. For others, it'll be you know you're divorcing yourself from someone or something. You you're clipping someone or something out of your life, eclipsing them out of your life. It's coming to an end. And again, for some of us, this is a final, final end. Like there is no coming back from this one. It's done. And I'd say, again, especially for us Geminis, um, if anything like this happens, because um, Taurus is our 12th house of endings and subconscious and all that kind of stuff. So it's like something that's really finished. Love and relationship. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Second chakra. This is the solar plexus. So... This may be an area that you, on which you want to focus, your, your stomach, your abdomen, um, maybe feeling butterflies in your stomach about somebody in, in terms of love or relationship, or sinking feeling if you feel like, you know, something's not right, uh, red flags, you need to get away. Whatever one applies to you, you should tell you the action you need to take, All right? And um, with what energy we will go into the next moon phase with, which would be the new moon in Sagittarius, right? Um, the angel of balance. And that's what I have for you. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know it was all over the place and a little bit uh, informal. I was just moved to do it that way today. And again, I, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and that you find it helpful. Namaste.